Dr. Yella Pragada Subhara. Born to a poor Brahmin family in Bhimavaram, Andhra Pradesh, Dr. Subhara witnessed death and suffering brought on by disease at a very early age. Perhaps it was this angst that made him pursue medicine. Even though he belonged to a disadvantaged family, Dr. Subhara was able to find a way into the Madras Medical College. At this time, Mahatma Gandhi's Swadeshi movement was at its peak. A nationalist at heart, Dr. Subhara boycotted British goods and started wearing Khadi surgical gloves. This act of defiance displeased this English professor of surgery. Though Dr. Subharao had performed well, he was given a lesser medical degree rather than the more prestigious MBBS. Dr. Rao took this light in his stride and made his way to the US for further studies. Here on began Dr. Subharao's relentless journey of path-breaking discoveries. He found out the colorimetric method for estimation of phosphorus in body fluids and tissues and co-discovered ATP in muscular activity. His interest in prevention and cure of anemia led to the isolation and synthesis of folic acid, which helps prevent spinal cord defects in newborns. He introduced antifolics in cancer chemotherapy, particularly in the treatment of leukemia in children. We should not forget Dr. Subarao's idea of fighting cancers with antivitamins. His methotrexate prolongs the lives of those afflicted with cancers, particularly childhood leukemia. Methotrexate, curiously, also provides relief to asthmatics and those afflicted with a cosmetically uncomfortable skin condition known as psoriasis. And worldwide, his DEC or Hetazon is fighting elephant acids to eradicate the disfiguring disease from the face of the earth. He led the team that discovered the first of tetracyclines, known as oreomycin. Doxycycline, used in the treatment of bacterial infections and malaria, belongs to this family of drugs too. In 1994, tetracyclines helped confine and eradicate the plague epidemic in Gujarat and Maharashtra. It was a debt Dr. Subharao paid to his motherland, almost half a century after his death. Dr. Subharao's co-discovery of ATP discredited the 1922 Nobel to a Briton and a German who claimed lactic acid as the source of muscular energy. The biochemist community of Europe stalled the recognition of ATP for over 20 years, so much so the Nobel Committee did not have the opportunity to make good its laps. Subarao's achievements with folic acid, tetracycline and aminopterin each could have made him a candidate for the Nobel, but he did not live to collect it. For he died within a couple of years of folic acid and days and weeks after unveiling aminopterin and auromycin. Anyway, the Nobel is no big deal. The Nobel jury found Mahatma Gandhi unworthy but gave the peace prize to war mongers and heads of one or the other warring nations. Unlike many of his colleagues, Dr. Subharao did not sell his scientific discoveries, did not seek patents for any of his drugs, and never sought attention from the media. No wonder then that even though the Nobel Committee didn't consider him for a prize, his portrait hangs in their corridors. Dear friends, as biographer of Dr. Ella Prakada Subarao, I can do no better than leaving you with the thought of American writer Doran Antrim. I quote, because he lived, you may be alive today. Because Subarao lived, you may live longer.